Hello, everyone. Uh, so this is going to be a very quick tutorial about using the Cadence tool. Um, like I told you in the lab, that you will have to start with the Mobix term. Uh, you have to put in your IP address and everything, uh, the port, which is PP410, uh, PP4410. And here you will type in your password. Uh, you will be taken to your folder. No, you don't have to remember that. And then uh, CD, CDS, and then source, source.me, and then virtuoso, and, and. And this will open the library manager. <clears throat> so this is going to open the library manager. Here we go to the tools, library manager. And within the library manager, this is the test class which where you will be working. You will be making all of your circuits here. I have made the advanced circuits, as I explained. I'll select the advanced circuits first, and then I'll go to File, New Cell View, the cell view, and I'm going to name it um, Example um, Tutorial 1. Schematic, 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 I'll open with this thing, OK. And this is going to open the schematic window. As I said, starting the component instantiate is called instantiating the component. So we'll add the instances. So the circuit that we are going to make today is this one having one, two, three, four resistors, one, two, two voltage sources, and two current sources. So I'll take four resistors first. It means we'll instantiate the resistors. By, what, do, what do I mean by that? You can go to create and hit the I key to instant, or you can just click in I key like that. And in the library, go to browse, go to the analog library. Here's the analog library. There you can search resistor. Here's the resistor, click it. Once you click resistor, and you close it, and you see that you, the cursor doesn't have the resistor appearing with it. So in that case, just hit the symbol key, and now it starts appearing. Now you have the resistor. You can just close this window. The resistor stays here. So the resistor, we have resistor one, we have resistor two, and rotating, for rotating, you hit the R key, we have the resistor three. And then there's a resistor four, which is something like, uh, okay, from this resistor, it is somewhere here. Okay. And once this is done, hit the escape key and the, you're, you'll be out of the resistor window. Then you have two voltage sources. Again, I'll instantiate the voltage sources. Go to I. Instead of resistor here, you can write VDC. And this is like the voltage VDC source. And voltage source is already connected. And you can see the VDC here. VDC, one of them is connected here with the minus connected down. So it'll parallel to that. And the other one is here with the plus or towards the right side. And this is on top of this one. That one, so right plus plus, this is going to be rotated. It is here, right there, like that. And hit the escape key. Now we have two current sources, one parallel to four ohm resistance, another one here. So I'll go, I'll hit the instantiate. And in the VDC, I'll write IDC. Here's the IDC source. And there's the IDC source here. One source is here, arrow going from ground to top. So I'll rotate, 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 and here's the arrow. This is in parallel with that one. And the other one is rotate, rotate, rotate. It's going from left to right. Yes, in parallel of this resistor. So once this is done, hit the escape key. And then last thing, instantiate the ground. Write G and D for the ground. Here's the ground selected. We get the ground and put the ground here. After doing that, I'll hit the F key to fit the whole window. Fit, I'll hit the, either I can go to create and use W to wire the circuit or hit just W arrow. And then click this one here, connect it this way. This will be connected here. This is going to be connecting here and We'll connect this one source here, then there. Let's connect all of these points and connect them all with the ground. Now we still have this point connecting here, this one here. Current source is connected here as well as here and lastly it is also connected here so let's see 
yeah, this is how my circuit is wired. I've done it correctly. Just to make it a um, little bit equally spaced, I'll bring this resistor a little bit down and then this one down. Sorry. Instead of that, I would have done undo is U is U. So I can do select all of them. No. <clears throat> all right, I'll fit the window. I'll leave it like this right now. I don't want to spend more time on uh, doing that, but that's not important right now. Uh, so once this is done, I'll go, uh, I'll start uh, labeling my nodes because these are the two nodes where the voltages have to be found, V1 and V2. So I'll go and labeling for the label again, go to create and this is the wire name label. So you can use this one. I'll call it V1. Hi, V. this is the V1. And then again, L and the other node is V2. So I'll hit this one and to V2. Perfect, that's done. Once this is done, we can start putting the, the changing the qualities or the attributes of the resistors, changing the value. So we have four, eight and 10 ohm. So hit the resistor, hit the Q key and you will get here, four ohms, enter. This one again, select Q, eight ohms, enter. This one is Q, 10 ohms, enter. The last one is Q, 2 ohms, enter. For the voltage 12 volt and 5 volt, hit this one, Q, DC voltage is 12. This one is 5, so hit it and Q, and then 5 volt. Current sources are 2 ampere and half ampere, so hit this one, Q, 2 ampere, and this one is Q and 0 0.5 ampere. When you don't write, specify a number, it's understood that it will be in ohms. Hit the F key to fit the circuit. Okay, the circuit is now fit. <clears throat> the labeling is done. Uh, I'll hit the check and save key to see if there is any uh, problem. So there are two warnings. These are the same two warnings that there are crossovers. You see when I click this one, it tells me on here on this area. Look at this. Warning solder dot on crossover at this thing. So we can simply uh, rem uh, ignore these warnings. And instead of that, just check and save. Okay, I told you how to get rid of these warnings by going to create, um, sorry, not create, uh, check rule setup in the physical. If you can go to here, the solder and crossover, you can ignore it and say, okay, once you're done and then check and save and no warnings appears, okay? Uh, not right now, I'll go to launch ADXL. ADXL is where you launch your simulation, create new view, okay? Tutorial one. Yes, ADXL for tutorial one, okay. It will be open in the new tab, okay, perfect. So it's going to open a new tab here, here. See, here's the ADXL. We have to select the test here because test is what we are going to do. I'm going to say, click here, tutorial one. Yes, that's what I want to edit. First thing first, I'll go to setup, I'll go to environment, I'll change it to run with 64-bit binary, apply, okay. These are the simulations, different side sort of uh, analysis that we can do. Do We are going to do DC operating point analysis. So I'll select DC and I'll say save DC operating points. These things and now apply and okay. The settings are done. We can now close this window. Now we can run the simulation because I already, already set the environment for the simulation. Hit this key, it will run the simulation. <clears throat> Pending, okay, done. In the end, you will see there's zero errors and one warning. That's it. it, means the simulation ran successfully. I'll just close this window. I'll hit this output and I'll right click and I'll go to annotate and I'll say DC node voltages and we'll open the node voltages. You see there, the left one is seven and the right one is 12. So seven and 12 volts. So V1 is seven and V2 is 12, which is exactly as uh, required, seven, one and 12. Now we need a power of two ohm resistor, which is this one, zero watt and power of this resistor, which is 3.125 watt. I'll fit the window. I'll go back to ADXL, select that tab, right click and find annotation uh, in the annotate, find all the DC operating points so you can get all the currents and everything instead of just getting DC currents. So I'll say DC operating points is going to give me all the voltages and current. You see, this resistor has a 3.125 watt of the power. The power of all the resistances are mentioned. 
the resistance R2 is not mentioned. There is no power and there is no current. It's just because there's a seven volt on both sides. So the both ends are at the same potential difference. So there's no current passing through the resistor as there will be no power. <clears throat> And the power on the 8 ohm resistance, this one is 3.125 watt, and we have already seen that. This power, has it has a 3.125 watt of the power. And for the for the pictures I told you, you can go, you can make a folder in your MOBA XTRM here, which I made as advanced lab picks. This is the folder. I can go to file. I can say export image. In the export image, selected area. So I have to select the area, select. Now put it on the side, select the area. That's my area to be selected. And then go to the export image. Perhaps I want to select again because I think the 12 was not selected properly. So I'll select it again here. And now I'll go back to the export image again, new area selected. Here in the background, I would like to select the white background as I asked if, because it will make those numbers, the orange colored numbers more visible. Okay, uh, image name will be open the directory. I'm going to go to my folder in the my folder advanced lab picks. I'm going to call it tutorial pick. Okay, open here. Yes, it will be PNG. Yes, PNG, save to file. That's it. Go to the mobile stream and then advanced lab picks here's a tutorial pick I go, i'm going to right click and then i'm going to hit this one to download download where download on my desktop okay it's downloaded let's go and look at this appearing here okay here and if you see they will take here's your tutorial pick this is a high resolution picture of your uh of your schematic all right guys this was all about how to do run the simulation very quick tutorial run I hope everybody understands that. Regards. Bye.